All right, Hookaholics. Uh, something new, something special, something expensive. So, uh, as you all know, I do the Angler's Hall subscription unboxings. Um, I do their advanced tier. The Angler's Hall system is basically like your MTB, only instead of focusing on soft plastic baits and hard baits and tackle, they focus more on the apparel and the equipment. Well, this is called Fish Vault. So, Fish Vault, and this is their Elite series, which is their top box, just like the Angler's Hall Advanced is their top tier. <clears throat> this is under the same vein. So, um, this is another company. Angler's Hall had Hunter's Hall, and then they branched off and started helping out um, fishermen. This had, um, I guess it was called Hunt Vault, something like that. And basically, same same situation. Hunter's, uh, Hunter's Hall had the deer hunting and the, you know, the... the warm uh, red-blooded animal hunting and then hunt uh, vault here had the same basic thing and then as hunters hall and switched over to fishing so did this company <clears throat> now anglers hall is 109 dollars shipped to your door um they've had issues with shipping with the covid 19 and with the winter weather in texas etc etc i'm waiting on it supposedly it's coming um the, uh, just just waiting bated breath Meanwhile, because of all the issues and them not being every single month with the Angler's Hall and taking that break during the winter season and then slow to come back during the spring, I figured, you know what, I saw this out there, I'd give this a try. The one thing I have to say as a big asterisk, a big caveat, is <clears throat> I've watched some review videos from this company and I would suggest look this up, check it out on YouTube, and compare apples to apples, month to month. Check out their hunt vault and their fishing vault from the same month, and you're going to see a lot of crossover items. And that, right there, I do not like. All that being said, I figured, why the heck not, at least I'll give it a shot. Because I give everybody, well, almost everybody, one chance. Um, with that said, this is $150 per month. It is a fair bit larger, naturally than um, the Angler's Hall, it's certainly larger than the MTB, than the Monster Bass bags. Um, so let's crack in without further ado and see what's in the March 2021 Fish Vault monthly subscription box. So as I said, like uh, Angler's Hall, this is catering towards uh, equipment, apparel, However, the equipment in this is even slated to be more high-end um, than your Angler's Hall. Again, this is my first time having one in my hand, so anything's possible. This might be a huge dud, or it might be a surprisingly enjoyable box. So you open it up, they have crepe paper, similar to LTB, um, you know, whatever. Sorry, didn't mean to bump the tripod. We've got... Okay, so being that I subscribed to 12 months, uh, month by month by month, I used a, their promo code, which is no longer valid. When I ordered this, uh, the promo code was VOLT, and with that, this item right here was uh, slated to be a, a given once you ordered. It was their like one of their things. Um, so there's some things in here right off the bat that I've seen, like a Dick's. I'm going to say I'm happy to have it, sort of. It's something I wouldn't have bought personally out of my own uh, personal money. However, it's cool, and I can actually use this probably more so at work or on the boat. So uh, I know that there's supposed to be a card in here somewhere. I think this is it all the way at the bottom. All right, so we do have, like all, a what's in the box card. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six items in this box. Um... So you're getting uh, Gear Aid, Exotac, and Panther Vision are some of the supporting companies. Um, this is the Fish Vault family and veteran owned. So veterans do own this. It was established in 2019. This is the February 2021 Elite Collection. So I got the February box. It just took till now to receive it, which makes sense because I did order this back a few. So that's okay. I don't mind having last month's box. So February, not March, 2021. First up, 
Gear Aids ARC rechargeable LED light and power station. So, Gear Aid. So we got, <clears throat> this is a Gear Aid Tools light power station. It's weatherproof, not waterproof, weatherproof. Uh, ARC, a 320 lumens lamp uh, with eight, 90, 8 to 96 hours of illumination. Five, uh, three to five charges of your um, typical smartphone or etc. or whatever. It's mountable, probably for Scotty mounts, etc. Um, so it's a 10,400 milliamp battery, high speed USB recharger for phones, tablets, speakers, cameras, and more, which is cool. Helps me with my GoPro, hopefully. Um, it's three color lamps. You've got an amber, a white, and a blue light. Now that's good for night fishing. Uh, it mounts. Uh, with a tripod or GoPro mount or RAM mounts uh, to give uh, light and illumination where you need it. Built for the outdoors, it's resistant to rain, uh, snow, etc., and sand. Uh, makes it hang. It makes a hanging lantern, so it's got a hanger on it. So uh, let me reach down here for the old razor blade. Cut this open. Now again, they're saying this is a one hundred and twenty dollar value. Uh, I ain't buying that. I ain't buying that because you can find very similar items, maybe not this brand, but very, very similar items. Uh, again, this is not quote-unquote waterproof, it is weatherproof, so I'm sure ambient rain and snow it'll take, but you can't submerge this underwater. And at $120, no. Like I said, going into this, I wasn't having high hopes for the value aspect of it. I think you're just going to eke out what you pay into this, maybe lesser you know, plus or minus 20, 30 bucks. Um, but it is a stout lamp, nevertheless. Oh, they got it zip tied. Well, I can't take it completely out to show you. You've got your charging cable here for the internals. A uh, little box on how to do it. I will open it up as best I can in the cardboard that they have. So there's your lamp. It runs on a pivoting armature here, it's good metal, which is good, I and mean, it's not plastic, so that adds to the value. Yeah, it's getting up there, still not $120. Um, so you got this rotating uh, mount, obviously, in here it is threaded uh, with a, a post here for, obviously, your Scotty mounts, etc., etc. On the back end, rotate this around this, this way. Um, so you've got a rubber flap with your 5 volt input and your USB charging dock on the back. Your 5 volt input here, USB charge on the on the other side and it's not USB-C, it's your just USB 2.0. Uh, okay, you got your power button. Oh, I'm somewhat charged. So you got your power button here on the left. You've got your a dim Okay, so you got a dim switch. Oh, maybe it's not a dim switch. Oh, it is a dim switch. All right, so Go all the way up to being bright, and I'll dim it all the way down. All right, so it blinks when you're out, and then you've got a blue, orange, and white light selector on this side. It came three out of four bars charged, so that's not bad. So you got your your power button is here. You've got your up and down for your uh, illumination value, and then of course over here is your selector for what color you're going to. So that's okay. Uh, it doesn't come with a strobe. It would be nice if it had the SOS strobe as sort of a safety measure. Um, you know, a little button here, red button SOS or white button SOS. You kick that on and it'll do the SOS pattern. I always like that, especially for marine uh, use. But it is mountable. Definitely something that I can find use for. Uh, if and when I get a new kayak, I can certainly mount this on my kayak. That'll help. Uh, and as a filmer, YouTuber, it helps to have more illumination for your uh, outdoor videos. All in all, happy to have, not buying the price point, but still, nevertheless, uh, I ain't gonna complain too much. Now what did I do with that? What's in the box card? Ah, I lost the card. How did I manage to lose the card? Maybe it's still in here now. Oh, that's right, it fell down here. All right, um, next up, we have Exotac, or Exotic, uh, rips, rips spool, rips spool, R I P S P O O L. Thirty dollar value as marked on this card. Uh, it is a must have for EDC and fishing trips. Lightweight, complete field 
repair kit includes a first aid kit, fire starter, fishing and navigation, made in the USA. So let's find this. You know what that is? So here we go. No, that's not it, is it? Uh, Exotac. No, that's Exotac. Exotac. It's the hat. It can't be this. It can't be this little box, can it? Oh, it is. It's a tiny little box. Tiny little box. So field repair kit, uh, made in the USA. I pretty know, pretty much understand what this is. This is, goes back to my army brat days. If it is what it is, yes it is. Alrighty. So you've got this little, little tiny metal uh, spool here. Obviously unscrew the cap. Inside of it you'll find a fire starter and some first aid gear. Um, a lot of this, so you've got your fire starter right there. Um, a lot of these are the punch style. I don't know if this is the, no, this isn't the compression thing where you put your little kindling in the bottom and you pop it to get it to start. Um, you've got some fishing line on the outside edge here. A braid runs around, so that's your fishing section. So that's, it's nice. It's a nice little survival uh, tool. Um, I've seen these before. Um, definitely nice to have. $30. Uh, I think you could get one from Ozark Trail, Walmart brand, very similar, uh, probably not as heavy duty a containment unit, and certainly not water, uh, waterproof with the, um, they probably have like a neoprene little flat washer, this one has the proper O-ring um, to seal it, to make it waterproof, as you can see right there on the thread, it's got that black O-ring at the base, so that makes it a lot better, um, but, uh, but yeah, you know. And you've got, obviously, tape here for repairing things. So you've got duct tape that wraps around. You can pull this off. Use this for repairing tents, boats, whatever you need. You've got that there for emergencies. I've seen these also with uh, little lights on, on the end, uh, you know, little tiny, like, um, watch battery lights, etc. that are on the cap. Um, so, not bad to have. Uh, work not bad to have again this is as I said I'm I'm debating on how long to carry this on I really am uh, it's not so much the the price but like I said you're seeing a lot of things in this that yes they kind of fall in the vein of anglers of, of fishing but at the most part this is a camping survival tool more than it is a fishing tool this is something a camper has that he can fish with but it's not specific to fishing, nor is that lamp. That's where Angler's Hall definitely edges this out, in my opinion. Um, moving on. Next up, their version, their price, $22. Panther Vision Power Cap Line Fleece Beanie. This is cool. Um, I've gotten uh, a similar item in my Angler's Hall, but you have a one-size-fits-most fleece beanie. And it comes with two, uh, two double LED spots, spot projection bulbs, um, on the front. So you just rock the beanie, and it's got the lights, and they shine down. They are not adjustable, okay? So they don't they don't pivot at all. They're just focused straight, trained down. Um, that's pretty no cool. It's a very nice material. I will say that very nice fleece material, external. Um, is like a neoprene. It does have a loop in here that you could run elastic if you wanted to, maybe. Uh, also, it should have the battery pops out of here somewhere. Up, oh, yes, here indeed. All right, so it's got the little hole that you could run elastic through because it runs all, should run all the way around. But also, it comes that's where you put your watch battery to replace it um, for the power for the uh, for the light, which is also nice to have it on the back side of your head, not on the side poking into your temple or in front putting a big red mark on your forehead um, so that's pretty cool again they want twenty two dollars for this that i will say is an accurate price i've, I've seen these um, in dicks i've seen these in other sporting goods stores i've seen these in survival stores and they run anywhere from uh eighteen twenty dollars up to forty five fifty dollars for these beanies so twenty two dollars is a very very acceptable price point for this particular item I'm still not buying the $120 on the light, and I'm thinking the uh, the rip spool is about 
10% higher than it should be. Um, I'm thinking, you know, it's just not, not to me, 30 bucks. But, all right, three more to go. So half of our box is done. Next up, Allen's Company Real Cover. Here's cool. So we have, from Allen's Company, we have a uh, rounded bait casting stretch reel cover. That's cool. I have some conventional reels. This is what I call a conventional reel, open spool. And then I have bait casters, obviously. This is obviously a conventional uh, reel. So you take your conventional reel. This will fit over it. This will go great over my sharking rod, probably, if it'll fit. Um, see, it should have a size on it. Fits right or left-hand models. Helps uh, trap tackle last longer. Helps your reel last longer. Still, always maintain your reels. Always do your spring and your winter um you know, your winterizations and your spring cleans uh, before you go out on the water. Make sure you rinse it off well, oil everything, grease the, the pinion gears and the things you need to grease when you wear your stuff out, especially your saltwater gear. Um, but these definitely, when you're storing them over the off-season, are a godsend to keep the dust and the debris off of them uh, in, in the times between using your, your fishing gear, especially your reels. Um, so I always appreciate these. And most of the... Uh, most of the bibs and wraps and, and, and uh, covers that I have have been low profile uh, bait caster, not larger spool uh, conventionals. So this is actually very much appreciated. I'm very happy to have this. $13 is what they priced this at. And yes, $13 is correct. I, I won't deny that. $10, $10 to $13. However, if you go like when you buy, uh, I bought my Abu Garcia Beast um, from Tackle Warehouse. And with that purchase, you got a $15 uh, bait casting cover to go with it because you spent so much on the reel anyway. They threw that in as a freebie. <clears throat> but to typically go out and just buy it, it's you know in the $15 range. So $13, I I definitely do not do not dishearten not dishearten on that. Two more items to go, and this I believe is a freebie and add-in. And I do have to say, if that's true when I get through these, which it seems to be, I have to tell you. That's the way all boxes should come. Next to last, thermoseat, heat and seat. So these I've seen at Dick's, but I've seen them in orange. I personally like the green better. This is a thermal cushion. It's not a hemorrhoid cushion, doesn't have a donut. But it's a thermal cushion. Um, you can set it down on your boat and it will hold heat and then radiate it back at you. Um, some of these you can put in the microwave. It's no batteries needed. A lot of these you just leave out and it just takes your body heat and then holds it and then it starts to slowly wick it back at you. Um, this one is, uh, let's see, made in the USA. Everything in here is, is obviously made in the USA products 99.9% .9 of the time, which is another reason why I do like um, the idea and the concept of this, this company. Um, let me see, is this the microwave one? Nope, it's just the Insulsoft. Uh, you get crunchy when cold, and they warm up, yada yada. Yep, so this is just the one that you sit on, or you leave it out in the sun. It'll take in those, those uh, ambient uh, radiance uh, and, and, and get warmer, and then it'll slowly wick it off back to you to keep you warm. These really do help, believe it or not, keep this in your truck, get it nice and warm on, you know, having your heat run on the floor, uh, set this down there, get blown on, get it warmed up, and then when you're sitting on it out on the lake, even on your drive out in the early morning, it, it keeps you warm even when it's windy. Like, you wouldn't believe how much keeping your, your lower extremities, particularly just behind your knees and your legs and thighs, uh, as well as keeping your chest warm, will make the rest of your body not feel as intensely frigid uh, when you're going through like those early morning bass, you know, trips out on the boat and you're going across the lake and you're chilling to the bone. This will help. Uh, I think I can use this at work, running through our gator. I can keep this under my, my posterior and keep me warm in that gator that has no doors. <laughs> so that's always appreciative. $11 for that little cushion, and I've seen it more expensive at Dick's. So I'm very appreciative that I've gotten this. $11, I think, is a very, ap uh, very uh, logical price. Last in our list... For $7, Gear Aid's Aqua Seal Waiter Repair Kit. Another must have. So, uh, this is uh, a repair kit for your waiters. So, if you have chest waiters or, or what have you, you can do, 
uh, one adhesive, two, jeez, oh, why do I have to put the French underneath and I can't barely read? It's got the applicator brush, the guide on how to repair. It has the one adhesive pad, uh, or excuse me, tube of 25 ounce, or 0.25 ounces of adhesive. And it has two patches. So clean and dry the surface, apply the adhesive, cover with the patch. Um, it takes eight to 12 hours for this particular adhesive to cure. I've seen these where they have the UV and they have a little light that comes with it, which I like, um, but it's, it leaves a flexible, durable uh, repair to your waders to keep your waders waterproof. Always, if you're a wade fisherman, if you're a fly fisherman, this is definitely awesome to have. So definitely this item and the real cover and this extra one that's, uh, that was because I used the, again, the uh, promo code. Uh, these three items, although only two of them are included in this kit, are angler specific. I will say the flashlight, the beanie, and um, the fire starting kit, or the, uh, the uh, you know, um, SOS kit, I call them, but your, your survival kit. Um, those are more camping, hunting, outdoors specific, not fishing specific. That being said, I don't mind it. I, I figure I've gotten three for three, so 50%. It's a 50-50 mix here. Um, the cushion, not really angler specific. Uh, but this guy is, and this guy I do know is expensive because I've seen it on the website. This is from, um, this is the Vault. It's from Pelican. It's their V100 size. And uh, let's crack her open. And uh, basically, this is your Bass Mafia case from Pelican on steroids. It's a super thick, heavy duty. It's got its own little foam that you can customize, cut out, and install anything you want. Camera, Camera gear, gear uh, your favorite fishing reel, if you have a, a nice collection of that. You just take these foam blocks out, individual thin foam, and you can trace out your shape, cut it out with an X-Acto knife, stack it back in, and it'll give you, um, you know, a deep well of protection for your items. This is awesome, and the reason I'm happy to get this, as expensive as it is, these also make an absolutely unbelievable waterproof, um, kayaking battery box. So if you run a trolling motor on your kayak, these bad boys can be a game changer to put your small uh, battery in and run your power off of. You can do a lot of awesome DIY with this guy. So for that, I am increasingly uh, appreciative. Um, and again, like I said, definitely a very high value item here. So this included in this uh, shipment, when I honestly wasn't expecting to see it until, um, you know, my final next year, my 12th uh, box. I figured I'd get it on my 12th box, not on the first. But that being said, I'm very happy. And it's also in a decent color. It's in the green. Um, I would have liked black or gray. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the neon colors. But uh, that being said, on, on a kayak on a boat it's nice to have this because if it does go overboard you can see it uh, so definitely appreciative it also comes with the locking collets you can run zip locks through here uh, or stainless steel wire to chain it down to your boat so it doesn't go bouncing anywhere um, yep the volt by pelican is a great a great box with a lot of uses um, that all said Tell me what you think. Do you think this box was worth 150 bucks? But uh, do you think it's worth carrying on and seeing what they come up with as spring comes? Obviously, again, this was February. So maybe a June box or a July box or an August box, the height of fishing season, might just, um, might just pull in a little bit more towards the angler and less towards the hunter or the camper. Uh, you tell me, what do you think? Uh, leave your comments down below. As always, I appreciate you spending the time with me and uh, sharing a little bit of my, uh, my inquisitiveness, um, give you an opinion, give you a, a view of something you might not have ever seen. I'm, I don't think many of you have seen the 
fish vault. It's kind of a small niche thing, same as Angler's Hall was. Um, well, and is. Uh, but uh, you tell me, should I carry on or not? That being said, as always, tight lines. And uh, I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, Hokalix. But that's not by speculation. But the position that I got, I climb too high to fall, went too hard to try.